Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can delete an XRP account. So currently there are two ways you can do that. Either you can use the XRP toolkit or you can use an X app called um, Account Merge. So if you go to view more, more X apps, you can see here that there is an app called Account Merge. And you can see here, so the merge is it deletes the account you're choosing and sends all the funds and everything remaining to the other account. So how much does it cost to delete an account? And currently deleting an account costs two XRP. So meaning that, so as we know, the base reserve and the own reserve was lowered. It used to be 20 XRP base reserve and five, uh, five XRP owner reserve. And then it was lo lowered to 10 too, so 10. 10 XRP base reserve, uh, 2 XRP um, owner reserve, and the owner reserve is being used, so the 2 XRP is also being used for the deletion. So if you want to delete an XRP account, like I said, uh, you're only paying 2 XRP from, well, since the change happened. Um, so I will first, so if you want to use the XRP toolkit, just go to the website and click on connect wallet. Then you can use any of these devices here. So Ledger device, Cobalt, Decent Wallet, or the Sum Map. So we'll be using the Sum Map and I will use a workaround since I've got a phone emulator there. So it will just, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll use this workaround. Um, because the, as you know, a QR code just stores data and in this QR code, there's this link hidden and I will just paste this link in my browser. <coughs> And now I can open it in the sum app and enter my password here and sign. So after signing it, I can see it here in the XRP toolkit. So you can see right now I've got 12 XRP on the account, 12 XRP are locked, and I've got one trust lens set. If I want to delete an account, I have just to go to account and properties. If you go to the bottom right there, you can see here that you can delete the account. So the, the information there is outdated, so don't pay 5 XRP as fee, it's only 2 XRP anymore. You just click on proceed, and what I prefer using the XRP toolkit for the leading account is you can see here if you if, if all the requirements are, are met. Because before you can ex delete an XRP account, the account must be at least 1000 ledgers old. Uh, so about, uh, well, about or, or, or less, I think it's 250 ledgers. So about whatever, 10, 20 minutes. Uh, then you can see here that the max uh, that you at most can own 999 owned objects. There are no pending escrows. You have no trust lines, no payment channels, and no checks. You can see here right now I still have a trust line. So in order to delete this account, so I intentionally set up a trust line so I can show you that. And so in order that you can delete this account, you have to first remove the trust line and everything else. And I will go to the trust line and I will click on remove. And I will again have to sign that, go to events, go to sign request and scroll down and sign that. And after signing that, I will, uh, well, I will repeat the procedure. So going back to account, going to properties and clicking on proceed. And now you can see everything is in check. So uh, uh, all the requirements are met. Now I can define where I want to send it to. When, uh, so where do you want to send my remaining funds? And I'm just going to go to XRP scan and I'm just going to enter XRP dev, copy my account address here, I'm going to send it there. And as you know, I don't need a destination tag. In the meantime, I'm also going to show you quickly the X app. You don't have to use it, but I just want to show you that one as well. Like I said, you could also use just the account merge and click on I'm ready, continue. Could select the account you want to delete. And then afterwards, specify where to send it to. So in this case, I would have sent to um, to the other one, to the main account. Um, it's also pro possible if you prefer it using the phone. And then after clicking on that and signing it, then you would delete the first account you selected. Then it would be sent to the second account. And then after signing it, it would be done. But like I said, so for those people who prefer have using the X app on your phone, then you can use it. I prefer the website uh, since I'm more of a desktop user. And also you can see here, you've got more additional information. I prefer that. Um, right, so I will do the delete here, so on XRP Toolkit, and now I'm just going to click on Next. And you can see here the fee is 2 XRP, it's not 5 XRP, it's only 2. But like I said, the display information here was incorrect, or wasn't updated yet. And you can see here, uh, yeah, I'm intending to do the transaction fees to XRP when deleting your XRP Ledger account and setting the remaining balance to an exchange. Make sure there's an H tag. Okay, there's another information. As always, when you do a payment, then you also have to check that the destination tag, if you're sending it to an exchange, is set correctly. All right, so now I'm signing it. 
And now this account right here is going to be deleted in any second after it's being validated and the account is gone. And also here you can see the account is not activated. It still has the history, so that's not gone. All the funds are being were retrieved. Um, and also if you just send uh, 10XRP to the account again, it's going to be activated. So just because it deleted it doesn't mean the history or anything is gone. So everything is still there, but the account is just not activated. And yeah, that's how deleting an account via XRP Toolkit or via the Sum app works. And like I said, it has gotten a lot a lot cheaper since you um, since you only pay two XRP and not five XRP like it used to be. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope I was able to help. Well, I hope it was informative, and see you in the next video.